Hi, grade five. Today, inshallah, we discuss unit five from lesson one to lesson five. Let's begin. Unit five is talking about multiplication and division with decimal. This picture you find it in your student book refers to the unit. Our aims today, we discuss in unit five, the concept 5.1, multiplying decimal. Lesson one is talking about multiplying by powers of 10. Lesson two, multiplying decimal by whole number. Lesson three, multiplying tenth by tenth. Lesson four, estimating decimal. Lesson five, using area model to multiply. Lesson one, multiplying by power of 10. Power of 10 means multiplying by 10, by 100, by 1000, and so on. A multiple of 10. So you write one and put the number of zero. So you are in multiple of 10. First, if we multiply with whole number, 60 by one equal what? 60. How? One times any number equal the same number. So a zero will go out from right to left. Then 60 by 10. So here you have two zero. You put two zero from right to left. Okay. Or put zero out and one by 60 equals 60. One times any number equal the same number. 60 by 100. Put two zeros from right to left. Then one times 60 equal 60, so you get 6,000. How? We have here three zero in multiplication, so put three zero in the broad. Here, how many zero? One, two, three, multiply another number with one zero. So the total number of zero, four zeros. So, bottle four zeros from right to left, you get 60,000. This is multiplying by power of 10 with a whole number. Second, with decimal. Look, 2 and 3,800 by 1. Any number by 1 equal the same number. So, you get the same result. Here, the same number, 2 and 3,800, but this time by 10. In multiplication by power of 10, a decimal point will, me, will move to right, not to left. So we move decimal point one digit. So a decimal point will go between 3 and 8. So you get 23 and 8 tenths, the same number, 2 and 38 hundredths by 100. So a decimal point will move to this two steps two digit one and two so it will be put in or at here so you write two three eight then put a decimal point then you should and you must put a zero here at tenth place value don't forget to write zero okay because it will be mistake Two and thirty-eight hundreds by thousands. So decimal point will be moved to the right in multiplication by power of ten, three digit. At the first, second, ida. We don't have three, so you should put zero. Then put a decimal point. So two, three, eight, zero. Then a decimal point. Then zero. Don't forget in multiplication by power of 10, if we move a decimal point, you let a decimal part, this is called the decimal part, okay? You should and you must put zero to keep the place value of decimal. Another slide. Multiplying by power of 10, but in here we make multiply what? By decimal, 0.1. 0.01 and 100, okay, and also 1,000. So 
multiple with whole numbers. Look, 14 by one tenth. This time, okay, when we make multiply by decimal, we move the decimal point to left, not to right as the previous slide. This is no, because we make multiply by decimal number. Here, yes, we will find what? One and four tenths or 40 hundredths. Here, 14 by 100. So a decimal point to move to right at the one digit, then two digit, then you put a decimal point here. You get 140,000 or 14 hundredths. Okay, then 14 by 1,000. So we move a decimal point to two right. Three digit one, two, we don't have three, so put zero. Okay, then a decimal point. So you get one hundred forty ten thousands or fourteen. Okay, thousands. This multiply a decimal by whole number. Top decimal by decimal. Look, two and three tenths multiply one tenth. So this point you get two what? Two digits. How? One decimal point and another one decimal point multiply together. So you should put a decimal point after two digits. After what two digits? From right to left. So, one, uh, yani, we support that we don't have this a decimal to make multiplication. As you say, 23 by 1. 23 by 1 equal 23. But here, one decimal and one decimal. One digit at decimal and one digit at decimal. So, a decimal point will be written after two digits. So, you get 23 hundredths. Look, this two decimal and this one decimal. So the decimal point will be written from right to left. OK, after three digit at decimal, after three digit at decimal. One time 23, it will be 23, but you should put a decimal point after three digits. So one, two, I don't have. A uh, digit at uh, the third place value, so I must put zero to keep this place value, then a decimal point. So 23 what hundreds, another one, two and three tenths multiply 1000. How many digits at decimal? One, two, three, and this four. So decimal point after four digit at decimal place value after four digit at decimal part. OK, so I write three and two and we don't have any other number will be written. OK, so keep it with zero. OK, so you get here tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. So twenty three ten thousand. I hope you understand well. Find the product. 14 by 1 tenth. How many digit at decimal part? At the one digit and here two digit. 1 plus 2 equal 3. Then 1 by 14 equal 14. I write 14. But I sh must put a decimal point after how many digits? Three digits. One and two, three. Why this one decimal and this two decimal? A one plus two in multiplication. So one, two. I don't have three. I put zero to keep the place value. Then put a decimal point and zero. So you get fourteen hundreds. Two point four 
multiply 100. How many digit at decimal part? One, two for this number and another one for this number. So you have three. So you must put a decimal point after three digit. Add one, two, three. Then put a decimal point. Then is zero for the whole number. You write 24 because 24 by one equal 24. Then put zero. Another example. Three digit by three digit. So decimal point will be written after six digit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then a decimal point, then zero for the whole. One by 29 equal 29. You write 29. Then the other place value, the other digit at the place part will be zero. As you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, in a decimal point. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. Okay. Concept 5.1, lesson one, multiplying by power of 10. This in your student book, missing number. Fill in the missing numbers in each equation. You have here, okay, one and ten and a hundred and thousand and ten thousand and hundred ten thousand. And we should write what is the value of A. We choose it from the above and B and so on. Look, 496 equal four by what? Four at hundred. This is ones, tens, hundred for a whole number. So, L4 will be multiplied by A. If I will be multiplied by 100, it will be 400. Plus, this in expanded form, 9, 9 tenths. If a 9 by B, if a 9 by 10, if L B equal 10. Then, we continue expanded form, because expanded form contains a plus. Plus what? 6. Another example, number two, six and 140. Okay, this a whole number. It doesn't contain any decimal. Six by what here? Ones, tens, hundred, and thousands. And what? Thousand. So, a six by thousand. If a C equals thousand. Plus all to this expanded form. L one hundred if a one by a D L here equal hundred one hundred plus four tens if a four by ten if L E equal ten then number three twenty and four hundred three twenty what twenty thousand and four hundred and three if a two by ten thousand. LF equal 10 and put three zeros, 10,000. Okay, because this is 1,000 and this 10,000 TTH. 400, if a 4 by G is G equal 100, you get 400. And this expanded form plus 3 because it's 0 doesn't written with zero here doesn't written number four seventy eight thousand so seven by ten thousand plus eight by thousand only because in eight at thousand with seven at ten thousand if l h ten thousand okay plus eight by thousand if l i equals thousand five hundred so plus five by G equal hundred. Five by hundred equal five hundred. 
plus 9 tenths or 90. يبقى 9 by k, 9 by 10 equal 90. Plus 4. If we add 4 plus 90 plus 500, you get 594. 594. Plus 5,000. And uh, I'm so sorry, plus 8,000 and 70,000, you get 78,000. Here, 8 and 32, 8,000 and 32 by 1,000. So you get L. L equal what? Yes. Here, you get 8, 0, 3, 2, okay, and put 3 zeros together. This by this, put 3 zeros, okay. Another example, Manel works as an accountant, helping business keep track of their income and expense. Doing all this accounting wears down Manel's pencil quickly. The accounting um, used mathematics <laughs> all day. Um, we will notice this figure. The length of this pencil equal 15 and 2 10 centimeters as points here. So, and this is ruler with centimeter measuring unit. Number one, Manel's pencil is what centimeter long? We write 15 and 2 centimeter, 2 tenths. If her pencil were 10 centi, were 10 times bigger, 10 times bigger, so you make multiply 10, 100. What one layer fifteen and the two multiply ten multiplying by power of ten so we move the decimal point to the right not to to the left by ten it moves one digit only so it will be fifteen here with two a 152, then a decimal point, then zero. A pencil length, 15 and 2 tenths by 10. Suppose that this decimal point doesn't here. So 152 by 10 equal what? 152 and put is zero. Okay, 1, 5, 2, Zero with another way to solve and get the product, but a decimal point after from right to left after one digit or one decimal. Okay, this method and this another method. Continue. If Manel were to line up 100 of the same pencil, the total length will would be what centimeter? So a pencil length 15 and 2 tenths multiply 100. So I write 1, 5, 2, 2, two 0 with decimal point after one digit where from right to left. So I put a decimal point here. So we get 1520 centimeters. If line up 100. If Manel's pencil were to shrink to one tenth, one over 10 or 0 0.1 of its current length, a current length 15 and 2 tenths. So 15 and 2 tenths multiply a decimal number. Count how many digit at decimal in multiplication. 
one digit and one digit. So the decimal point will be put after two digits. So I write one, five, two, and from right to left, after two digits, I put a decimal point. Or by another way, in multiplying by decimal number, we move a decimal point to the left. Yep, ahena one, I move one digit. So it will be one and 52 also. Listen to. Multiplying a decimal by whole number. We can find the product of five tenths by three by many ways. What are these ways? Way number one, repeated addition. Five tenths repeated three times. So we can rewrite it. Five tenths plus five tenths plus five tenths. Five plus five tenths. 10 plus 5, 15, and the decimal point after one digit, okay, from right to left. Another way, using number line. How can we use number line? We draw number line from 0 to 3, okay, 1, 2, and 3. Between 0 and 1, you have 10, okay, slides here. 10 dash. Okay, so between a 0 and 1, this 0.5. Between a 1 and 2, this what? 0.5. So we begin or start from 0. First step, jump 0.5. Then another 0.5. We reach to 1, then another 0.5. So if we measure this distance, yeah, you get 1 and 5 tenths. So jump three times each one by 5 tenths, and then the result will be 1 and 5 tenths. If a first repeated addition, second using number line, then evaluate 0 0.3 by 3. So we jump 0 0.3 three times on the number line. Okay, this is what using number line. So one, two, three. This is first step. Second step, one, two, three. Second step, one, two, three. Third step. You get what here? 0 0.9. 3 by 3, 9, and the decimal point after one digit. After one digit. So we will get 0 0.9. Okay? 3 tenths by 4. 3 by 4, 12. And a decimal point after, from right to left, after one digit, if a one and a two, one and two, this is one and two, if a here, two tenths, if a this is one and two. We jump this away, another way, jump 0.34 times. 0.3 four times here, 0, huh. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Give a first jump. Okay. Then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Second jump. Then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Third jump. Then 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. If a four jump, add one, two, three, four. 0 0.3 by five. Repeat it five times. So 
we will get 1.5. Here, 1.2. 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. So we jump five times. Yep, uh, as you one, two, three, four, five. Focus. We start zero, then count one, two, three. Yep, adi tatabar ke enaha keda di first jump. When I take D, we support that this point as zero. So jump three. One, two, three. The bar do support that as zero. If a one, two, three, support this as zero. One, two, three, and so on. Okay. Two and five tens by three. By using repeated. Or multiplying, repeat it. Yep, at 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5. This by using repeated, it will be 2.5 and 2.5. It equals five. Five plus 2.5 whole plus whole. You get whole number, two plus five, seven, and five tenths, okay? 35 hundredths by five, make multiplication. 35 by five, this is the easiest way. Five by five, 25, five, I have two as a carry up, three by five, 15, 15 plus 2 equals 17. I write 17. This is algorithm, mathematic. A decimal point after two digits. If I write 1, 7, 5 as a product from right to left count to two digits, 1, 2, then put a decimal point. Continue lesson three, multiplying decimal by whole number. We uh, use two ways, a repeated way, we're using a number line, and we also use an algorithm or traditional way of multiplication. Number three, using parse. Okay, par line. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one tens plus one tens plus one tens plus one tens plus one tens five tens five tens and five tens and five tens. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten parse doll will be as one cube, one whole. Okay, and other five tens. Another way, a multiplication, a lower usual multiplication. 3 by 5 equal 15 with decimal point will be written after one digit. As we discussed in previous slide. Lesson 3 in unit 5. Multiplying tenth by tenth. Look, to multiply 3 tenths by 6 tenths. By traditional way, 3 by 6 equal 18 and the decimal point after two digits. One decimal by one decimal, it will be a decimal point after two digits or after two decimal number, a decimal part. Okay, but here using the base 10 grids, a color horizontal part representing 0.3 or 30 squares. Look, one tenth, one tenth, one. Tens, if a three tens, another three tens, another three tens, and so on. So if we count these uh, small squares, we get thirty squares. 
Okay. 30 squares of what this means? 30 squares of, of means multiply 0.1. Each square, it's a value 0.1. So 30 by 0.1, a decimal point. After what? After? Yes, one digit. So you get 0.3. Here, a color vertical bar represents 60 squares or 0.6. Then he makes multiplying between the first well second. So you get 18 hundreds. A product 18 hundreds. The squares with two color, this and this, 18 hundreds. This is 60 and this 30 or three tenths and six tenths. Okay, multiply together to get 18 hundreds. Another example. Four tenths by one and six tenths. If we make it as multiplication using multiplication, so 16 by 4. We can solve it by many ways. This will be 10 plus, okay? Multiply what? Multiply 4. So using a property of multiplication, Lehia. A partial product 4 by 6 equal 24, or 4 by 10 equal 40. You 40 plus 24, it will be 64. Okay, a distribution property, or by using partial product, a partial product 16 by 4. First, you say here 4 by 6, you say equal 24. Then another one, we finish the 6, L1 at 10, because this one and this 10. This is all the partial product. So 10 by 4, 10 by 4 equal 40. Then make what? Adding. You get 64. But you make multiply number with one decimal by another number with one decimal. So in multiplication, the product, yeah, uh, it's a decimal point will be written after two digit. And look at here. This. 1.16 because this one and this 0 0.6 60 square then four tens and 60 it will be 64 hundreds lesson four estimating decimal how can we estimate decimal four and six tens multiply seven and ninety one hundreds if we make estimate so a four will be five. Why? Because the number at tens place value strong. So L4 will be four and six will be estimated to five. In the six is strong. So L4 will be incremented by one. We make approximate or estimate to the nearest ones here. Seven and ninety one also we estimate to the nearest ones, as he said. So a nine is a strong. A seven will be incremented by one. If a seven and 91 estimate to eight. Five by eight equal what? Third, uh, yeah, equal what? 40, okay? Equal 40. Or four and six tens. By seven and ninety one hundreds, if he using benchmark, 
benchmark way yes four and six tenths as four and five tenths okay multiply eight here so you get 36 okay by using benchmark let's solving some exercise about estimating this estimate the product of multiplication round to the nearest whole number he determine nearest whole so a 24 and the three is three at tens nearest to whole number so nearest ones a three is weak so 24 and the three will be 24 one and eight tenths nearest to the whole if nearest to ones el eight is strong if al one will be two okay so 24 by two equal 48 four by two equal eight or two by two equal four eight and two tenths by eleven and five tenths estimate to the whole el eight is the same because the two is poor from one to four a number poor from five to nine a number is strong eleven and five el five is strong if el eleven will be twelve twelve by eight equal two by eight sixteen excellent one by eight eight plus one yep a nine yep a ninety six Estimate to the whole, six and seven is seven. Estimate to the whole means estimate to the ones or the digit at once. So look at the digit at tenth place value. If a six will be seven. Eleven and five tens, L five is strong. If a one will be, L eleven will be twelve. Seven by twelve. 84. Number 4. 99 and 6 tens will be 100 because 6 is strong. 12 and 7 tens, 12 will be 13 incremented by 1. So the product 1, 3, and put to 0 at the right. You get 1300. Lesson five, it's talking about using area model to multiply. Multiply using the area model. Example A, three and 24 hundredths multiply five and two tenths. This means I, I'm using area model. So three, then two tenths, then four hundredths. It will be three and twenty-four hundreds. Multiply five and two tenths. I write five first, then two tenths here. Second, make multiply digit by digit. Three by five, fifteen. Three by two tenths, six tenths. Two tenths by five equal ten with decimal point after one digit, so it will be one. Two tenths by two tenths here. One decimal by one decimal, the decimal point will be written after two digits. So, four hundreds. Four hundreds by five, four by five, twenty. With decimal point after two digits, if a zero doesn't written, is zero here, doesn't written. Okay, four hundreds by two tens. You get one, two, three. If a decimal point after three digits from right to left, four by two equal eight, then put two zero. After that, add 15 plus one plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 plus 400 plus 8,000. Two and six, eight tenths. One and 15, 16. Okay, so 16 and, huh? Eight hundred forty eight thousand. Another example P three and eight tens multiply twenty seven hundreds. You write three plus eight tens. Three 
and eight tenths. Multiply two tenths and seven hundredths. Three by two tenths, six tenths. Eight tenths by two tenths, eight by two sixteen with decimal point after two digits. Okay, from right to left. Then three by seven hundred, three by seven twenty one with decimal point after two digits. Keep a one, two after two, no, put a decimal point. Eight by seven, fifty six. But here one digit and two digits, keep a decimal point after three digits from right to left. It will be fifty six thousand. Then add the uh, product inside this area model together to get the product of 3 and 8 tenths multiply 27 hundredths. When we add all of them together, we get 1 and 26 thousand. Let's solve more exercise about using area model to multiply here. You get here 1,000. 20 by 50, 1,000. What? what is the number? So make division. 80 divided 20 is 0, cancel this 0. 8 divided 2 equal 4. 20 by 4 equal 80. To be sure that your answer is correct. Then you get here 4 and up 8. So what is the missing number here? Make division. 32 divided 4 equal what? 8. Okay. So 8 by what here? Multiplication. But the opposite way, division. The opposite way, division. To get the missing number. 8 by 50 equal 8 by 5, 40, with 0 at the right. Give a 400. Give a product 1000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 32. 80 plus 32, both of them added together because two digit plus two digit, you get 112. 112 plus 400. 512 plus 1000, 1512. Number 2. 30 by 50, 1500. 3 by 5, 15. With 0, but with 0, you have a 2 0 from right to left. 4 by 50, 4 by 5, 20. We put a 0 at the right from right to left. Then 30. By what equal 60? Or say 60 divided 30 to get missing number here is 0. Cancel this 0. If a 3, 6 divided 3 equal 2. The missing number here 2. 4 by 2 equal 8. Then add the numbers inside L area together. Then 1500 plus 200 is 1700. Okay, 60 plus 8, 68. So you get 1768. Number four, you have here missing number. So we make 1200 divided 60. To get the number above is 0. Cancel this 0. 12 divided 6 equal 2. 2 by 6 equal 12. With 0 divided 6 equal 0. If I hear 20. Again, 80 divided 20. To get the missing number, 80 divided 20. Why? Ask myself, 20 by what equal 80? 20 by what equal 80? To get the missing number in the left-hand side of multiplication, you should make an opposite mathematic operation, lay a division. Opposite mathematic operation of multiplication is division.
So 80 divided 20 equal 4. The number here is 4. Check 6 by 4 equal 24. So I am correct. Then add all of them together. 360 plus 200 equal 560. 560 plus 80 equal what? Now you get here. 560 this plus this. Plus what? 80 came Plus what? 24. Two digits together. So four, then six plus eight, 14, 14 plus two, 16, six, carry one, one plus five, six, you have a 24 plus 80 plus 560 equal 664. So here you have 1,000, 1,660. The last one, five. We don't have up and some missing number down. So this number will be divided to 30. Is zero. Cancel this zero. So 12 by 3 equal 4. And 2 0 divided 3 equal 2 0. If we make multiply 400 by 30, you get 1, 2, 3, 3, 0 from right to left, then 4 by 3 equal 12. So you write the correct number. Also, 600 divided 30 is 0, cancel this 0. 60 divided 3 equal 20. Check 20 by 30. 1, 0, 1, 0, multiply, if a 2, 0, 2 by 3 equals 6. Then, again, 1,600, we make divided 30, no, this in the second row. So, make division between a number of the second row and the number above. Ask myself, 400 by what equal 1,600? If at 2, 0, opposite to 2, 0, 4 by what equal 16? 4 by 4. Check 400 by 4. Go to 2, 0, or 4 by 4, 16, if I am correct. And 20 by 4 equal 80. 5 by 4 equal 20. Add all these numbers inside the two rows together. 12,000, 1,600, you have 13 and 600. Top 600, 600, 100, 600, 600, 1,200, uh, uh, 1,200, uh, 1, and so on. So add all of them together. 20 plus 80, 100. 100 plus 150, you have a 250. 250 plus 600, you have a 850. 850 plus 600, that is 0, 5, or 6, or 8, 14. 4, carry up 1, 1, 1, 2. You have a 2,450. 2,450 plus 12,000. Give a 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 5, 5. Okay. 0 plus 4, 4. 12 plus 2. So you get 14,450. Thank you for listening and goodbye. See you later with my best wishes. Engineer Nibin Singh. Bye bye.